I know it's not Tuesday. I lied about that part. Um, I'm not molesting myself. There's a rat in my sleeve. <laughs> um, yeah, I lied about Tuesday. I don't know how much time I have. Cause Sam might wake up. But I wanted to say hi. <laughs> and say I'm still alive. And say I got a rat. <laughs> this little paranoid guy is Luigi. And Luigi, who is remarkably adorable, I might add, <laughs> trying to climb the computer. Um, is six months old, and I believe he's a fancy rat. I don't know. I don't think he's a Dumbo rat because his ears are actually relatively tiny for rat status. But as you can see, he never really stops moving unless I put him in the sleeve. So if I put him in the sleeve, which he goes in here. There you go. He goes on the inside of the sleeve there, and currently he's he's right around this region here. And, uh, <laughs> so yeah, he goes in the sleeve, and I pet his head, and he falls asleep. So sometimes he doesn't go to sleep, and sometimes he crawls up my back. <laughs> but he's really awesome, and I really love my rat. And I, I can't believe the amount of cuteness my rat has. <laughs> I'm gonna get him a cage mate soon, and I'm gonna name his cage mate Mario, as this is Luigi. Um, I really originally named this guy Leo, but for some reason it didn't fit, and he needed to be named Luigi. And if I would have known what I know now, I would have named two rats Phineas and Ferb. Because I just saw that show today for the first time, and it was freaking awesome. <laughs> or Perry. His name might have been Perry. But I didn't. So his name is Luigi. And it's a good name for him. It's pretty fitting. Not as in he's a little plumber in green overalls, but he's, you know, Luigi's a good name. So, um, anyway... Um, oh my goodness. What else has happened? God, I didn't even know the last video I recorded was. Um, Sam started speech therapy, which is interesting. Uh, some lady comes to my house once a week, brings a box of toys, and plays with my kid. <laughs> For an hour. Uh, no, she actually managed to teach Sam how to say box in like 10 minutes. It was amazing. Um, but yeah, they have like a goal sheet for her and everything like that. It's actually pretty cool. And as far as it's going well, we've only had like one session, but I'm supposed to have another one tomorrow. I don't know what time, because she forgot to call me. She's kind of ditzy. Um. Oh. Excuse me. Um, also, I recently acquired cable TV and internet cable internet, real internet, not let's use my phone as internet. See this? My phone is no longer tethered to my computer. I can put it way over here. I'm still connected. <laughs> I'm so happy. No idea. I hated phone internet. It was so slow. Now I can download three movies under an hour from an FTV server, so I'm... We're doing good. Um, and like I said, we have cable TV now. We've got all these channels, and I've discovered new horrors that are on television these days. And I speak of a show called Hoarders, Buried Alive. It scares me because, I'm watching it right now by the way, um, it scares me because these people need to be like hit in the head with something heavy. I mean I know that they're like, they have an actual like psychological disorder that makes them hoard these things, but some of these people are just really like, oh my god, what is wrong with you? Because they don't, they don't seem to, they don't seem to think anything's wrong. They don't. They don't realize that this is a problem. This one lady had dead rats in her house. I was just like laying around in the kitchen, on the bedroom. Uh, her mattress was dry rotted. There were cobwebs. It was there were roaches, and I'm like, oh my! She was like elbow deep in trash. That is ridiculous. Some of these hoarders collect like just stuff. This lady was just full of trash, and it was disgusting. I can't even stand it. So. What are you doing? Um, some of these people think that, you know, like I said, nothing's wrong. And I'm like, well, okay, well, take a step back right now and realize that your husband is gone because your house is full of trash. Or like on one episode, your husband's been sleeping in the car for the last few years because he can't get to the bedroom. That... That might be a sign. I mean, 
That might be, give you something that tells you, hey, you have a problem. Other than that, um, yeah, so I'm watching Hoarders, I'm watching Sci-Fi Channel, Science Channel, Discovery Channel, National Geographic Channel, all my favorite channels, and I'm so excited to have television. Look at my remote, it's all fancy. It does stuff. <laughs> really sad. I don't have, like, the DVR or anything like that, but what, I don't need that. That's, that's a little much for me. But I have TV, and I have internet, and I'm really happy, and, yeah, and stuff. Um, um... I don't know what else to, to report on. I'll think of something right before I lay down to go to bed. Which, speaking of going to bed, I need to do that. But I have to eat first because I'm starving. Okay, so I'm going to eat and go to bed and take out the dogs. Excuse my hair. I've realized that it's doing this weird thing where it looks like I put my finger in a light socket. Um, and it just won't go down. So deal with it. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what it's doing. Yeah, if I do it this way, it's not too bad. Um, anyway. Yeah, eat, go to bed. Take the dogs out. Go to the bathroom. I don't know why you need to know that part. And change Sam's diaper, and then off to sleep I go. Because I have to get up in the morning, because I have to call speech therapy. Ugh, she forgot to call me. It's horrible. Ugh. And it's her job to call me. So, yeah, that happened. And unfortunately, doing all that requires me to put my rat back in his cage. I don't want to. If I could, I would just carry this little guy around with me everywhere I go. Because he's just so amazing. He's very soft and cuddly and, and just very cute. And he chatters his teeth at me, which apparently is their sign of purring. He doesn't like it when I pull him out. Though. See, his back feet spread really far out there. He's like, ah! And he's got three little spots. And he's, he's what they call a hooded rat. See, he's like black and white. See that? I love his stripes, his colors. He's very cute. And he's got, his, I love his tail because it's like half black and half white. See that? Hey, baby. <laughs> he's really paranoid though, and I don't know why. He's like ultra scared rat. And <laughs> I'm guessing because he lived probably most of his life in that community cage that I bought him from. And now he's like alone, except for me. So he's like, okay, you're either a really big rat, or <laughs> or I missed something, you know, that kind of thing. But um, like I said, he's pretty awesome. I I wouldn't I wouldn't trade him for anything. I mean, he's like, go ahead, get in there. And uh, yeah, see, he goes right down the sleeve, and just yeah, there he goes. <laughs> so. So yeah, there's that. Um, anyway. I'm going to eat something more substantial than oatmeal bites. And, um, do everything I just said I was going to do. Other than that, that's all I've got to say. And I don't know how this turned into eight minutes. That's a little ridiculous, I think. Oh, well. Good night.